Howdy guys, in this video we're going to talk about macros. So what is a macro? A macro is a recorded and playback tool that records all the clicks that you do into Excel and it allows you to play it back as many times as you need to. So this is a very useful tool whenever you're doing repetitive and tedious tasks. It just saves a lot of time and it reduces your stress. So now we're jumping into our example one. So let's say a manager uh, sends you this Excel sheet and he or she wants you to format it in a very specific way. Th so he, want, he or she wants you to have last name, first name, and the balance to highlight it. Going back to this tab. So in order to start, we need to make sure that you have a tab called developer. And if you do not have it, you need to go to File, Options, select Customize Ribbon, and click on Developer. Hit OK, and it should appear. To start off with a macro, we will go right here to Record, name it Customer Data. And one thing to remember is you whenever naming a macro you cannot have any spaces so what i do is have a capital letter for each word hit okay so now it's starting to record every click that i do we're going to hit insert to create a last name column or excuse me a first name column and then a last name column And now we're going to highlight all of these names, go to data, select text to columns, make sure it's on delimited, hit next, uh, make sure that this, this box is checked to remove the, che the columns that are on that list, hit next, and hit finish. So now we're going to go to, we're going to highlight all of these balance due. Go to Home, select Conditional Formatting, highlight the cell's roles, and click on Greater Than. We are going to put zero because it will show anything that ha any per anyone that has a balance due. Hit OK. Now, as you can see, they look the same, and we can hit Stop Recording. So now I'm just going to undo everything that I did and I'm going to play the macro and hopefully it goes back to this original screen. Okay. So we're going to go to view macros, select run, and there you go. Looks like everything is on there, which is great. On to our next example. Let's say a manager sends you over the spreadsheet as Excel sheet and they want you to separate the assets class between equity, fixed income, and commodity. So in order to do that, we will go to developer, hit record macro, name it asset class, hit OK, then go to Home, select Filter, Unse unchecked everything, but check Equity, oops, highlight this, copy, and paste. Now we're going to do the same thing for fixed income and commodity. So now I'm going to clear this off. Go back to here. Fixed income, hit OK. And do the same thing over again.
And lastly, we're going to do commodities. Air. Now we're going to stop recording the macro. To see if everything went through, I'm just going to delete everything. And we're going to do a little neat thing that I found, which is inserting a button. We're going to assign class asset to that button, rename it. And if this button works, uh, the macro will be will be performed. So let's click on it. It looks like equity is there, fixed income is there, and commodities. Awesome. Well, this concludes my video regarding macros, and hopefully, that hopefully this helps demonstrate how powerful and cool macros can be, and how it can reduce the repetitive and tedious tasks. And thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. Bye-bye.